little update from your garden today. The strawberries are doing well. Flowers. Yep. Quite a lot. Good. Radishes are looking too clever. Same as them ones. Actually they're recovering, they, look, they do look better than what they did the other day. There's more green coming out now. I thought they'd died off. Not too many. The last of Carol's flowers. Before they all die and fall off. Rocket, and I just put some more compost in and tidied it up a bit. More bulbs, I don't know what the hell they are. Spring bulbs, I was told. Anyway. <clears throat> old Faithful, the old jet wash there. Wild garlic. I'm going to be having some of that tonight on a chicken Kiev. We're making them from scratch, me and Carol. I'm going to get some of the flowers and some of the leaves. Need to be everywhere. So I'm looking forward to that. Comfrey's coming on quite well. Beetroot that I planted the other day. Bold hardy. Carrots, nothing coming up yet. Naughty Marietta marigolds. More radishes, cherry bell and French breakfast. They're the gourmet shallots that I've transferred from pots and they're looking quite well after I planted them out the other day. They're looking good, nice and strong now. I've got more of them to plant out here. Um, in amongst, I'm going to sort out a place for all these. Peas are looking well. Meteor. Meteor peas, oh, sorry. Petite Provencal. I'm just looking to see if anything's been eaten, these. No, they look okay. The peppermint spray seems to be working to keep all the flies and bugs away. So, what we're going to do here. There's two new planters there. And another one there that's got ash and coffee grounds in. I'm going to mix that up into compost with some actual compost material itself and some dead plants. More of the gourmet shallots with garlic next to it. Peppermint and spearmint, they're coming back. I gave them a bloody good haircut last week. More of these gourmet shallots. Got more than what I know what to do with for them. Gonna be looking for loads of recipes to use shallots in, but you can use them instead of onions apparently. They are onions anyway, the onion family. So what was that again? Mizuna, Japanese mustard, rocket, basil, genovese, curly leaf parsley. Giant parsley, another giant parsley, and another chives. Uh, what's that? Coriander? Hi, coriander. Greek oregano. Takes a while, that. Thyme, that's another one that takes a while. And garlic chives. So, we'll have a look in the greenhouse now. See the tomato plants and everything else they're getting on. Oh, it's lovely and warm in here. That's because it's 17 degrees. Oh, that's getting big now. Sun gold. 
apparently the tastiest I want a, a sucker these are meant to be the tastiest cherry tomatoes you can get I grew them last year but they didn't do too well these are looking much better this time round don't know why they are dead big and these ones are not they're all planted at the same time 7th of March some gold money maker they're not doing too good actually that one looks like oh it's a bit dry so what we've got down there gardeners delight they're gonna have to move to another shelf as well because they're getting too big another gardeners delight what we've got here oxbow peppers that's basil behind there uh, just chives, I've put them in for a laugh, but they're not, they're not doing very well at all. Gardener's Delight again, touching the ceiling already. I'm going to have to do the same as I've done here, take this, the shelf out so they can get free and then I'll be putting them further down again, onto the next shelf down and then eventually onto the floor. Just got to take your time. What are these ones? More sun goals, red alert. Red alert. Red alert. What was the ones I was on about? Ah, that's them there. Mini Bell. I sent some of these down to Sheila. Some of the seeds. So they're grown regularly, I would say. Same as. But why is that one dead big? I kind of work it out. All the soil's the same, the pot's the same, there's nothing. I didn't put any super duper compost in a row like that. I don't know why it's getting too big compared to the other three four oh, yeah, I grew five of them I thought I had six of them for some reason but they're small you put them in the house you can grow them indoors it's only like a little bush tomato it's not a big full-scale one like the sun goals like them ones so what we got down here what's this mini munch cucumber looking quite well then I'm gonna to have to repot them soon there's quite a few of them we've got four of them there selected different peppers what's this one oxbow diablo and ringo peppers it's a lucky dip what the seed what the seeds were when they came out a mixed packet let's see so we've got them Tiger eye marigolds, they're not doing very well at all, only one of them's coming up. Don't know what the hell went wrong with them. More gardener's delight. So, looking good in here overall. I think I'll just stay in here, it's warmer in here than it is in the house. Unless Carol's give in and put the heating on eventually. So, we'll go and see what this is in the next one. So what we got? Telegraph cucumber. That's the one I grew last year. The same type, and they were they were lovely. The best cucumbers I've ever, ever tasted. And another telegraph. And another telegraph. I'm just gradually bringing the plants out of the next greenhouse along there and bringing them in here, just using up the extra space, which I'm. I'm it's all going to be full before long. <clears throat> when I planted one of these cucumbers. Um, in the that size pot these came up next to them there's two there and there's another three there that wasn't doing very well um, and I think that's comfrey bit up on the leaves there I'm convinced it's comfrey but I don't know where actually where they've came from because I never planted any comfrey in, in the form of seeds I planted them all as root uh, root balls, so I have no idea why, why these grew next to the cucumber in the first place. Any garden experts out there, give us a clue. And there's my seaweed tea. That has done amazingly well. A big, two, two big carrier bags of seaweed I picked up from Troon Beach 
and put half of them in there a carry bag full fill it full of water 10, 10 litres of water and left it for a good few well for three months and the results have absolutely been amazing all these plants are doing so well on it so I think that's about it There's nothing else I've missed all the garlic this is going to be ready quite soon actually I think I'm not sure if they're just dropping to the knees now Eden Rose and Cork White hmm we shall see anyway catch us all later